once again back in the um, in the same swim. Uh, I've had a bit of a think over the last uh, day or so uh, as the uh, weather hopefully improves as we get on into May and then June. Um, I'm certainly going to uh, start moving around the lake and I'm going to be introducing bait in different areas because there's a lot of water to play with in this lake and I wouldn't mind uh, coming down here with the marker rod to try and find something in the middle of the water or in open water I should say uh, but for the time being I'm um, content to uh, fish where I've been getting action and keeping the bait going in so yeah there's loads to uh, to play with on this lake and explore but as I say that's going to be for, uh, for later on in the year Anyway, time for a brew, as normal, I shall be fishing until around about 5, 6 o'clock, so uh, I've got, what, 5 or 6 hours to hopefully uh, bag another carp or two. Right, let's get that kettle on. It's gone half past two and I've got absolutely nothing to report. I'm going to go and sit on uh, my barra. The reason being is it's absolutely freezing under the brolly. Um, when I kicked off today's uh, update, um, it was quite comfortable, but uh, that breeze has uh, got a bite to it now. Uh, but when the sun comes out, it's quite warm and when it goes behind the clouds it's blooming freezing and as I say it's even colder under that brolly. So I'm sitting on uh, my barra because I've got the sun in my back and it's quite comfortable out here. Um, so yeah I've, uh, I think I had a bleep if I remember right around about midday-ish on the rod that's in the shot now but yeah it's been really really quiet which I'm not really surprised at because it was quite a harsh frost last night and there was a lot of cold rain went into this lake over the, uh, the past 24 hours. But since I've been fishing on this venue, uh, a little bit of a pattern's emerged from around about three o'clock onwards. I have started to get a bit of action, so yeah, we're uh, coming up to uh, three o'clock. So the question is, is it gonna happen today? I'll have to wait and see. Hopefully the answer to that question is yes. <laughs> well you can't make it up can you? Literally I put the camera down yet again five minutes after filming and it well I had one bleep and the rod absolutely belted off. Uh, got a mirror in the net doesn't look a very big fish but uh, really good scrap but it's a bite and that's right, all that matters. I'm well, being honest with you all I didn't think it was going to happen today but thankfully it has. Uh, as I say, five minutes after putting the camera down, I had a single bleep, and then the rod's absolutely belted off, straight into the open water. Most of the bites I've, uh, I've had off that spot, I've gone to the right in that clump of dead weed, but this one went straight into the uh, open water. Uh, a little bit bigger than I thought, uh, and it's quite a torpedo shaped mirror. Um, got a bit of a scar on its gill, and uh, yeah, a bit of a battered mouth, but. It's a fish, nonetheless. Once again, another one that's beating me up on the bank just dropped it in the edge to get the camera sorted. And there's a slight breeze, so probably feels a tad uncomfortable. There you go. Right, save the blanket if nothing else. Right. Let's waste no more time, get the rod back out on the spot and you never know. Could be dinner time. Proper sulk of this one. Probably 25 minutes after putting that mirror back. Rod's gone again. Uh, some real scales on this one. So let's get it out and have a closer look. It's only another small one, so I'm not going to spend uh, 
and fuss about with too much time on this one. But uh, that's the second uh, bite of the uh, session. Another mirror. Look at the scales on that. Lovely. Had a prolonged spell of uh, sunshine. Uh, the wind's trickling in, lovely now, and these fish have uh, well and truly come down this margin and are on the spot. Uh, and I've gone and bagged uh, number three of the session uh, and a slightly better common. Uh, it's got a funny marking on it, it looks like it's an old wound that's healed, but a uh, proper scrap again. Uh, lovely fish. As usual, just dropped it in the margin just to get everything sorted. So no doubt it's gonna do some flapping about. Scopic squid muncher. Morning all. It's just coming up to 25 past 11 on a Wednesday as we approach the Easter bank holiday. Um, no surprises yet again. I'm back in the same swim. Two rods out. In picture the one on the normal spot. And I've opted for that one there back on a margin spot. Before departing last week um, I heavily baited this area again with uh, Scopex squid and on my arrival the signs were really encouraging. There was vortexes, I saw two or three fish on the surface. So they're in the area. Let's just hope they've had a munch whilst they've been away. And I've got two sessions planned this week so the one today. Uh, the next one is planned for Sunday which will be a rarity for me and that's due to my work schedule uh, but possibly a change on that session. Um, the forecast, believe it or not, is supposed to be quite good for the Easter Bank holiday weekend and we could even get highs of 20 degrees on Sunday. So I'm planning on doing a bit of surface fishing. Uh, I've got a new floater rod that I'm itching to get out so that's the plan for Sunday um, not back in work until late on the evening so I've got virtually all day to uh, have a mess about so fingers crossed the weatherman's right the sun's out and uh, I can try and bag a carp from off the surface uh, regarding today's weather uh, we just started to have a little bit of a shower but it's really really mild um, in fact it's quite muggy um, these showers are supposed to continue for the majority of the morning but hopefully they're going to fizzle out according to the weatherman uh, this afternoon and we're going to get some uh, long sunny spells so we'll wait and see whether they're right so we're all settled in we've got the rods on the spots here's open my bag of carp or two again today Well, we're just coming up to around about quarter to three. I'm a bit noisy down here today. I've got uh, someone to the left of me over the back of the woods uh, with a chainsaw who's been dodging the showers. And with it being a uh, half term Easter break, uh, there's a couple of kids to the right in some gardens behind me who have decided to play basketball, so <laughs> it's not exactly quiet. Um, both rods have done bites. Uh, earlier on this afternoon, but sadly they were both bream and uh, both the bream that I caught were absolutely plastered in spawning nodules, so um, yeah, they're not far away from having a go at spawning uh, There's definitely a uh, carp over the spot though um, the last 15-20 uh, minutes I've been watching fizzing vortexes and uh, v-lines on the water so, yeah, the last, what, four or five sessions, um, around about this time, it's been quite productive. So, 
I'm hoping the little trick of uh, doing a bit of filming and five minutes after putting the camera down, it's going to rattle off again. <laughs> but um, air temperature wise, it's still really muggy. And I've just checked the uh, forecast again. We might get another shower around about three o'clock, but after that, that should be that. And dry for the rest of the day, so... Yep, fingers crossed, uh, we're going to get some action before we depart. And if anything happens, I'll get it on the blog. Whew. Well, we're coming up to four o'clock and we've got one. Mentioned about the vortexes and the um, and the fizzing. Uh, just carried on watching the spot and it carried on happening. All of a sudden I had a little lift on the bobbin and then bosh, it's absolutely melted off. Uh, usual side strain, got in the open water, plodded about for a bit. First sweep of the net and it's in. And I'm going to bag the common. And I think it's the biggest one of the campaign so far. The colours on it are absolutely superb and that's all down to the clarity of the water in this lake. I haven't weighed it. Not really fussed about the weight to be honest. For me it's just all about catching carp. So I dropped it in the edge for a bit just to get everything sorted. It's the only fish I catch today. It's been well worth the effort. Beautiful colours on this common. Delighted. Right, let's get some stills. Pop that rod back out, you never know, we might get another one. morning just approaching 25 past 9 on Easter Sunday and no surprise I'm back in the same swim as I've been fishing for what the majority of my sessions if not all of them since I've started this campaign uh, on arrival in the swim I was greeted to a massive vortex so there's fish again in the area and the rod is back on the spot as I mentioned towards the end of my last session, um, I was planning on uh, doing a bit of surface fishing in the next one. And I'm pleased to say that the weatherman has got it absolutely spot on. It's been a beautiful weekend so far. And we're expecting highs of around about 20 degrees today. And as I'm talking to you now, it's well into double figures. So once this camera switched off, I'm gonna start introducing a few floaters and yep, fingers crossed. I'm going to succeed and bag one off the surface as well as hopefully bagging one off the bottom. Uh, I've got work later on today so I'm not quite sure how long this session is going to be uh, regards its duration but we'll see how it goes. I've got a few hours to play with and fingers crossed we're going to get a result at the end of it. So I'm going to switch off now and introduce some floaters and yeah, let's see what happens today. Well, I've just gone quarter past three and a bit of an update. Uh, the planned floater session was a bit of a non-event due to the crosswind. Presentation was just awful so I scrapped that. Uh, 10 to 2 the bottom bait rod rattled off with a small common. About 20 minutes later I had another dinner plate of a bream and I've just gone and slipped the net under this small mirror. Absolutely beautiful scales on it. So I've got about two hours of angling left for today. So I ain't gonna rattle on any longer. Get this one back, get the rod back out and hopefully we can bag one more before we leave. Morning. 
just coming up to 10 to 12. Uh, struggled to get away from work on time, something cropped up at the last minute, but yeah, only departed about 30 minutes later than normal. So finally at the lake. You might have noticed from this shot that I'm in a, a different area. Uh, I had a look up in the shallows and there's carp absolutely everywhere. So I've started trickling in a few floaters and I've got them taken from the off. So I can continue feeding. Uh, we have got a little bit of a side wind. It's blowing from uh, the left to the right. Uh, ooh, I don't know if you just picked that out, but one's just come up and uh, had a big mixer, so uh, that's encouraging. So yeah, I'm gonna to continue to feed, and hopefully, today's the day I'm gonna bag one off the surface. Now, incidentally, I hope uh, you can hear me okay, because I've gone and misplaced the external speaker for my camera, which I'm absolutely gutted about. Uh, checked the car, I went and checked where I was fishing on Sunday, but. I think it's uh, fell off the uh, barrow and yeah, I thought I'd packed it in the car, gone home and it's gone so hopefully this is coming through loud and clear, uh, I've just gone and reordered a new um, microphone so uh, hopefully by the next time I get out and do some more blogging the audio on these blogs will be uh, to a top quality standard. Anyway, forget about that, let's, uh, let's try and catch a carp so I'm going to Go down to that jetty there and start trickling some more mixers in and see if we can get them competing and let's see if we can bag one off the surface. Just gone 20 past one, and pretty much like Sunday session, uh, having a go on the floaters, and it turned out to be a non-event. Uh, it was only a light breeze when I arrived, and started flicking at the floaters, and I got one or two taken, but uh, the breeze got stronger, and the floaters kept on drifting off to my right, taking the fish with them. Presentation was pretty crap in my opinion as well, so yeah, just wasting my time. Uh, but I have noticed, uh, not far from the rod tips actually, uh, there's fish moving through in between the pads uh, and every now and then I've had a vortex and I've had one or two head and shoulder. So, uh, yeah, we're back on the bottom. Uh, I've got a rod either side of the pads. Uh, same tactics. 15mm uh, Scopex squid pop-ups in solid bags with uh, Scopex squid flake and plugged and glazed 15mm uh, bottom baits. So let's see what happens this afternoon. Uh, a bit disappointed about the, uh, the floater session. Uh, really was uh, looking forward to trying to catch one off the surface. Uh, still got the rod made up, so if it does, uh, the, the conditions do improve, I can always flick it back out. But yeah, it's not looking like it's going uh, to happen again. But uh, nonetheless, uh, you've got to do what you've got to do. So uh, let's see uh, whether we can nail one uh, this afternoon off the bottom. Right, I haven't had a brew since I've been here, so I'm going to slip the kettle on and have a bit of well, lunch. I told you, lift the float rod set up. I was just sitting, having my lunch, minding my own business, watching the water, and then it just went flat calm. Saw one or two fish just underneath the surface, so grabbed the bucket, started introducing floaters again, and I've got them taken. So uh, I've cast it over towards the far margin, drew the rod back. Uh, and my hook bait was quite away from a, a large pack of floaters and all of a sudden a massive mouth just come and walloped the lot down um, and the fight it took me right over the far margin 
Uh, I don't know if he can make out that stump there, but it, oh, my line grated against that. Got it halfway back across the lake, stuck in the pads. Oh, at one stage I thought I might have to go and get the boat, but just gentle pressure. I've only got um, eight pound line on and a size 10 hook. Um, and the uh, the pads broke, uh, there's a bit of a clump there. And a bit of a wallow in front of the net. First scoop, bosher. Well, we got one. Uh, I've got to be honest, at first when I hit it, I thought this is a reasonable fish. It was a proper plodder. Um, but yeah, it's not that big really. But uh, it's another one of those uh, darkish looking commons. Which I've just dropped in the head, so no doubt it's going to start flapping about, or is it going to behave itself? There we go. So it took me right through the, uh, well, the merry old dance through the pads, around a stump. Yeah, these are really wild carp. And this one liked a floater. Well, it saved the blanket if nothing else happens today, but. Yeah, down the other spot, um, around about 3 o'clock was the time that uh, things started to happen, so we're getting on for that now. So you never know, I might be in with the chance of another one on the bottom before we leave today. But uh, If not, this one I'll do nonetheless. I managed another one off the surface, probably an hour, hour and 15 minutes in between the two captures. And this one's uh, slightly bigger, not the epic battle that I had on the previous one. This one uh, came in relatively uh, straightforwardly, but uh, yep. There we go, another common. Got a bit of a pointed uh, mouth, this one. There you go. It's a bit awkward to uh, position the camera on this bank, it's uh, pretty steep, but hopefully you can see. Uh, See that fish. Another lively one, just dropped it in the edge to get everything sorted. Here we go, fish number two of the session. Not long to go now before departing. But uh, the good news is I'm back tomorrow. But uh, undecided what to do. Whether to stick it out back on the floaters or uh, back to the uh, the tried and tested spot. I did uh, put a load of scope at squid in that spot actually before I left on Sunday. So uh, I'll be topping that up before leaving tonight, but uh, yeah, something to uh, mull over during the evening, I think. Wish end of the lake to fish tomorrow. But it's nice to get amongst a few on the, uh, on the surface. Lovely. Morning. Just gone 20 past 11. And I'm back in the same swim as I was on yesterday. Uh, having a think last night, and before I left yesterday, I dropped some uh, bait on the spots in the previous swim and that was the plan I was going to get in there today but uh, on arrival there was a guy not far from where I've been fishing uh, pole fishing so uh, yeah I probably could have got in there but it would have been a bit close and he was there before me so I've decided to uh, nip back up into the shallows I've had a look and there's fish absolutely everywhere so we're just going to fish the one rod near some pads to the right and I'm going to attempt to try and uh, bag another one off the surface. It's another lovely day. I don't actually know the temperatures, but it's it feels well in well into 19, 20 degrees. And at the moment, it's nice and uh, calm. Perfect float conditions, and as I'm looking out over the lake, I can see carp absolutely everywhere. So. Fingers crossed for some more action today. That didn't take long. Second cast in marine. Small common, but a nice start. Just gone 25 past two, so I thought I'd give you a bit of an update. Uh, not long after I slipped that little common back, the one I caught on the surface. Around about 20 minutes later, the rod position next to the pads on the right there, rattled off. A uh, bit of a spirited battle, got the fish on the surface, then the tip flipped back, uh, pulled out of it. Didn't look a big fish, but I was a bit disappointed really, because let's face it, nobody likes to lose fish. Um, the floaters fishing since then has been a bit of a headache. Uh, the wind which is blowing from the left to the right, 
with the big arc in the line and yeah the line laser shocking the line's been taken under the pads and yeah really really struggled I uh, haven't had an issue getting the fish taking the floaters but as I say the uh, the line lay has been poor so I've, uh, I'll give it a rest for a bit I haven't ruled it out because you never know it might just drop a bit later on this afternoon and uh, I might get another chance but yeah that's about it really so uh, all eyes are on the, uh, the rod next to the pads to uh, hopefully uh, bag me another fish before uh, ending another week's angling unless I get a little bit of a window later on as I say for a bit more floater fishing but we've still got uh, a bit more time so it's just gone uh, going up to half past two now and I shall be here till around about 5.36 o'clock this evening so yeah we've still got a little bit of time so fingers crossed right on that note time for a brew Well, five minutes after switching the camera off, it's becoming a, a bit of a ritual. So there you go, it rattled off. Uh, not a big fish, it's a warm day, so I'm not going to faff around with it. But that's fish number two. So let's get it back on the spot, and you never know. I might just uh, magic right, number three. Since I spoke to you last, uh, believe it or not, I've had another window of opportunity for the old floater. And I've gone and caught three more since uh, I last spoke to you. And the one I've got on the Anoki mat now is uh, the last one of the session and uh, without doubt the best one of the day. Uh, don't know, you make your own mind up but it's, uh, in my opinion, it's like a, a mirror common cross. Uh, absolutely beautiful fish. Uh, proper silty margins here so uh, I've done my best to uh, wash it down. Literally, I just casted this one at a showing fish. Well, I say a showing fish. The fish was pat manning on the surface and it couldn't have landed any, any better. Literally right in front of it, wallop. Took the mixer straight down and a spirited battle as usual through the pads. Uh, really give it uh, give itself a good account just in, under the rod tip. Uh, and with this scaffolding on the end of this jetty, uh, yeah, it did its best to wrap itself uh, around uh, one of the poles. But I... Uh, Managed to win the battle and uh, she was mine. So uh, a well chuffed for this one. Nice end to a lovely day again. Good afternoon. Just gone 25 past 12 on a Wednesday. Uh, we've been fishing today around about two hours and back in the shallows. Uh, condition wise, uh, it's a lot different to this time last week. This time last week I was in a t shirt and it was beautifully warm and sunny, but today it's around about 12, 13 degrees. And it's yeah, it's not very warm at all really. Uh, there is a bit of a, a bite to the wind. Uh, I've got a rod to the right as I move down into the swim, just off the pads again. And I've been trickling floaters in. There's one or two fish showing, but nothing like there was last week. But I've managed to nick one. 
uh, small common which I've just gone and uh, slipped in the net so yep without further ado we'll get it out and have a look. There we go first one of the day not going to mess around too much with it because it's only a small fish but of course it's got quite a big mouth for a small fish. Just coming up to two o'clock and I'm on the move uh, I can't get anything going on the surface uh, the wind's got up now and it's, it's just killed it uh, there was two lads fishing not far from where I've been catching previously but they've now gone so uh, what looked at the time I've got around about three and a half hours left of uh, fishing time so uh, yeah it won't take me long to get around there so we're on the move uh, should be around there in about what 10 minutes and all set up just the one rod on the spot where the dead reeds are to the right hopefully there's one or two fish at home and we're going to catch a few before we leave this afternoon so uh, yep yeah, I'll catch you shot didn't take long around about 10-15 minutes tops Quick hook sharpen, solid bag, on the spot, bobbing on, job done. So hopefully I've uh, timed it right, just in time for bite time. Previous sessions, uh, three o'clock's been quite a uh, good time for some action, so hopefully they're up for some grub today. Right, let's see what happens. It's just gone four o'clock and I've re-spotted. Reason being, I've had a bite. I was pretty much getting uh, little bleeps from the off when I put the rod out around about 10 past 2 ish uh, it finally rattled off but yeah within about a minute uh, I pulled out of it absolutely gutted but what can you do hook's been there uh, resharpened back on the spot fingers crossed for another well, the chance the rod's gone again as we're approaching quarter five and I've gone and bagged a little common again I really should be packing up but I can't resist sticking the rod back out again so uh, yeah I've got one PVA bag left might as well use it up before we open a fresh packet eh? Morning I've just gone five past eleven on a Friday morning as we approach another bank holiday weekend we've got one, two, three anglers present but they're dotted around awkwardly and I don't really like to have a swim in mind if I can help it before I actually arrive at the lake but where we finished off in the last session was where I was planning on having a look this morning but unfortunately someone's fishing it so I've nipped back up to the shallows I've seen fish so we've made a decision and we've uh, stuck two rods in the pond right hander is just off the pads and the left hander is in the channel Weather-wise, it's around about 13 degrees. Still a bit chilly. As I'm talking to you, I've got two coats on. Floater gear's in the car, if we're lucky enough to get a, a window of opportunity, but yeah, I don't think it's gonna happen today, but you never know. So there we go. I'm gonna fish till around about six o'clock. And hopefully, There'll be some more carp on camera. And it's just gone 12.15 and that didn't take long. Right handles rattled off. Uh, did its best to get me in the pads but turned it and I just led it to the net like a, a dog on a lead. Small common, first one of the session. And it's just gone 20 past four. So I thought I'd give you a bit of an update. Uh, since I uh, returned that little common, um, it's been an afternoon of uh, frustration. Certainly the right hand rod. I must have been experiencing liners for about two, two and a half hours. Uh, and around about 10 minutes ago, the, um, the left hand rod had uh, two or three sharp bleeps and there was a load of fizzing in the open water in the channel where I've got the rod. So I'm pretty sure that I've been done. So there's fish certainly in the area but um, yeah they're being rather cagey. There's one or two on the surface now because after what I said this morning uh, it didn't look like there was going to be an opportunity of any surface fishing. Uh, it's been quite a pleasant afternoon but sadly uh, time's not on my uh, side uh, by the time if I do get them going it will be time to pack up and uh, pull off 
So I'm going to stick it out on the uh, on the two bottom bait rods until leaving this evening. So yeah, fingers crossed. I managed to bag another one, but overall this week's been probably uh, my uh, least productive since I started fishing here. But that's carp fishing. All you can do is keep coming. Well, I've just gone up to 20 to 3 and it's been nothing short of a frustrating afternoon. Um, about about 25 to 1 I had a what I can only describe as an aborted take and then around about half past 1 I've had exactly the same again but I've been trickling floaters in on and off for about two hours and I managed to nail one on the surface. Lovely scaly, scaly mirror, uh, not a big fish but it saved the blank. Well I wouldn't mind catching this one at 30 pound. Look at the scales on this little mirror. That dark tinge to it which is due to the clarity of the water. I'm chuffed with that one. Just coming up to six o'clock and the rain's just started to fall again. So we're uh, finished on the uh, on the floaters. Uh, I did have another bit of an aborted take on the right hand rod near the pads but pulled into nothing so uh, decided to pack the, uh, the two rods away the scopes and I finished the last uh, hour on the top and I managed to bag another one so I've had three uh, carp today, uh, two mirrors and a common, lost a couple of fish in the pads and I've also lost a bit of tackle, two controllers gutted. <laughs> so I'll have to uh, open the wallet and replace them sometime next week. So that's about it now, I'm going to pack up and I'll be back down tomorrow. So I've pre-baited my spot on the right there and I think I might go back in the open water tomorrow just in front of that bush. So the uh, the rain's starting to get a bit heavier so I'm going to sign off and I'll see you tomorrow. Morning. It's just uh, approaching 11am I'm back in the shallows. Uh, the plan was to use two rods presented multi-rigs but for the time being I've opted just for the one. Uh, right hander is on the spot there just at the edge of the pads and I dropped a bit of bait on that before leaving last night. But the forecast uh, according to the Met Office is highs of 18 today and the condition wise for a floater is absolutely perfect. No breeze whatsoever and I've been trickling floaters in for the last 35-40 minutes and they're taking steadily. So I've just made myself a coffee. So what I'm going to do is consume that. Keep trickling the floaters in. And hopefully we can get off to a reasonable start. When a reasonably early start I should say. Right. Well, it's been Let's a busy 25 minutes, 30 minutes, something like that. Uh, had a take on the floater rod. Took me in the pads and I got bossed. I can't remember the last time I got bossed, there must have been a nick in the line. Uh, so, uh, resetting that rod back up and the, uh, the multi-rig rod on the pads has rattled off. Well, I had a drop back and it just went bosher. And I've gone and uh, bagged uh, a common. Quite an angry one. Um, not a big fish again. I'm assured there are some good fish in here. Boy, uh, one or two anglers. But it's just a case of uh, wading through uh, the slightly smaller ones. But I'm catching, that's all that matters, and I'm enjoying myself. Proper angry this one. Dorsal's right up. Beautiful colours though. God, look how angry this one is. Beautiful, lovely frame on it. Right, let's get that rod sorted and back on the spot. It's just gone 10 to 2 and as you can see I've got two rods out now. Uh, the reason being is the uh, the wind's picked up and it's blowing from the right to left. So that second rod's gone in the channel and around about 30 minutes ago I had an absolutely belting take and I found another snag. I've gone and lost my third fish of the session so Got broke this morning, floater fishing, 
uh, had a bite again on the floaters. Managed to get that one a bit closer, but just locked me up in the pads and I pulled out of that one. As I say, around about five, ten minutes ago, the uh, left-hander belted off. And yeah, it was, uh, I could feel it grating. Um, towards the end of them pads on the left, when the sun's out, you can actually see like a silhouette whether it's a tree stump or what, but I noticed it a few weeks ago and I was trying to work out what it is, but now I know. So, uh, yeah, I've put it back on the spot. But I might have to have a rethink there. No point uh, fishing on an area where every time you get a bite, there's more of a chance of losing it than actually landing it. Float fishing, it's uh, yeah, it's a bit of a challenge really. Getting the bites doesn't seem to be the problem. It's funny really because uh, last week, virtually everyone I hooked, I, I managed to get through the pads no problem at all, even though they did lock me up. But this week I've had uh, some bad luck. As I say, yesterday I lost two controllers. So uh, I might have to have a rethink. Not just for the fact if uh, you're tampering the chances of landing a fish, but yeah, the financial side of it as well. Because as you know, the cost of living, fishing tackle, whatever, stuff ain't cheap these days, is it? Anyway, we're still fishing, and we've got plenty more time to go. So uh, fingers crossed if I do get another bite. I managed to land it this time. Just coming up to half past three. Uh, in between the last bit of footage, I've gone and lost another one. Can't believe it. So that's four fish I've lost today. Uh, but the same rod has rattled off again. Uh, the one to the right on the pads. And this time I managed to get it in the open water and I've slipped the net under another common. Oh, by the way, this is no longer called the shallows. I've officially christened it. Snag City. Only happening car fishing. I've lost four fish today, and in the last 20 minutes I've had a double take, and both uh, <laughs> both the fish I've hooked have landed. Uh, the one I've got on the mat here is the bigger one out of the two. Another angry, wiry wild carp. Common, lovely colours. Right hand set of pads. And another victim to my twisted multi rig 15mm white scope X squid pop up in a solid bag filled with gloved and glazed scope X squid free offerings. Chuff for that one. Right, it's about half past three now, quarter to four, so still got time. Better get the one back out. Right, it's just gone five o'clock, and that's the fifth capture of the day and the last one of the session. Ain't turned out too bad, really. Right, another week done.